Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you how to make roti dough in the KitchenAid stand mixer. I recently bought this stand mixer mostly to make dough for rotis and parathas among other things. Tested it out and I have to tell you it works like a dream. You get perfectly kneaded soft roti dough under 5 minutes totally hands free and mess free. So let's get started, shall we? To begin with, attach the dough hook to the mixer which looks like this. Then add in the flour and I have used 3 cups of flour because that is how much I make at a time and since I have the 6 quart one, it is able to knead this quantity of flour into dough comfortably. Then add the salt anywhere from half to 3 4 teaspoon. Lock the machine in position which in my case is pulling it up and start it on the stir setting just to mix the flour and salt together. Then it's time to add water little by little and you can add the water while the machine is running or stop and add like I did. Either way once you've added a little water start it again and or move to the higher setting to 2 or maximum 4. I usually stick to 2 as that is enough. For 3 cups of flour I have added 1 cup and about 3 to 4 more tablespoons of water and that is because I did not add any oil here. If you want to add oil which I usually do anywhere from half to 1 tablespoon I have found it best to add it before you add the water or right at the time you first start adding water. Of course some prefer to add it at the very end which is okay too because it's mostly a preference thing. Either way when I add oil I reduce the quantity of water I use by a few spoons and then just let the machine knead the dough till it all comes together which will only take a few more minutes. The main thing here is to get a good feel for the amount of water and oil you need to have the atta to be to your liking which might vary a little based on the quality and the kind of atta you are using. So you can use this recipe as a jumping off point to judge how much flour, water and oil you require. And there you have it, perfectly soft and pliable roti dough made in the KitchenAid under 5 minutes, all hands free with not even any scraping required as the dough will collect itself into a ball and it will save you a messy countertop which is a win-win right? So I hope you do try making atta in the KitchenAid if you haven't already and enjoy! For the written and printable version of this recipe check the link in the description box below and if you like this video please hit the like button at the bottom of this video it really helps me out and subscribe if you haven't already. Until I see you again, happy cooking!